Hello, my name is Kenneth Murphy. I'm a custodian for American Eats Fatima. I bring the statue of Our Lady to people's homes in New England. In Boston, Massachusetts, I heard a very interesting story from a lady called Sandy. Unfortunately, when Sandy was 15 years old, her, both, both of her parents passed away. When she was 18, she got married. Happily, her good husband brought her back to the faith. But 10 years after her parents had passed away, her husband died. After this, she left the faith once more. She never came back to the faith. She never went to Mass after that. She didn't uh, pray or even pray the rosary. But she did have the habit of after shopping to relax, to get her nerves under control, to, uh, um, to bring some tranquility back to herself. After shopping, she would go and sit inside a church. So she did this for many years. Thankfully, very recently, she went shopping. She went to a church. She sat, sat down. And a gentleman came in and said, uh, Ma'am, you know, I uh, hope you know that we're going to start the rosary. Could you say the fourth glorious mystery? And of course, she hadn't prayed the rosary in years. So she said, well, I don't know how to pray the rosary. And he said, don't worry, I'll announce the, the mystery for you. I'll do that part for you. Obviously, he misunderstood. He didn't understand that she actually wouldn't know how to do the rosary itself. Well, the rosary started. When it came time for the fourth glorious, they signaled to her to start with a little bit of their help. She did the, the decade. Afterwards, the, the same gentleman came to her and said, look, I already do the rosary here every day. Would you mind once a week doing the rosary here in my stead? And on the spur, on the spur of the moment, she decided to uh, agree. So she's leading the rosary once a week. She's not going to match. She hasn't come back to the faith in a long time. But on the fourth rosary that she had, someone invited her to attend a presentation where there'll be a statue of Lady of Fatima with a little bit of explanation of the story. So she, she went. When she got there, very happily, she gave the story of how she was invited by this uh, stranger at the church to say the rosary, and she's been doing it every week. And um, very impressed by that story, uh, everyone was asking, really, so you're coming back to the faith? Yes, coming back to the faith. Now I want to go to Mass every, every Sunday. Lo and behold, the man who invited her to say the rosary on that day, he showed up for the presentation as well, and he was able to confirm the, the story. So very happily, she enjoyed the Fatima presentation, and she said, look, I will be praying the rosary every day. Well, normally, when someone is very quick to um, be enthusiastic about something, they're also more inclined to give up that enthusiasm uh, just as quickly. So I want to make sure Sandy uh, did indeed pray the rosary every day. So every once in a while I would text her, are you still praying the rosary every day? Look, these are the promises of the, uh, the rosary. Sure enough, uh, the month afterwards, she was still praying it every day. Two months later, still praying it every day. And four months later, she is still praying the rosary every single day. So that's the story of Sandy. And I hope it encourages all of you also to pray the rosary every day.